I had a very disturbing experience last week. I got verbally assaulted by a white supremacist. Guy got right on my face. He goes, hey, you, hey, you minorities all need to go back to your own country. I'm like, sir, I'm Native American. I'm in my own country. <laughs> right? I'm not a full blood, though. I'm actually Mexican, Irish, Navajo, Mexaho. Or as known on racial surveys, other. <laughs> Was not raised on the reservation, never met my birth father, uh, runs from responsibility. <laughs> Adopted at birth by a Mexican mother and a Jewish father. I'm an adopt a hoe. <laughs> Jewish father, Navajo son, I'm a bargain hunter gatherer. I'm illegal, too. I'm illegal. You cannot adopt an Indian child from their tribe. I passed that law to protect our people from Angelina Jolie. <laughs> so I didn't find out it was Navajo until I was 25 years old. 25. All those years growing up playing cowboys and Indians, I was suiting up for the wrong team. Now I'm studying my family roots and getting back on the Ancestry.com. I was all excited because I found out my grandfather was a medicine man. I'm like, awesome, grandpa's a medicine man. <laughs> Turns out he was a pharmacist at CVS. <laughs> <laughs> People find out you're even part native. They start coming up with all sorts of questions and comments. I got this one the other day. Oh, you're Native American. Can you share some ancient tribal wisdom? I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I've been to the desert on a horse with no name. <laughs> Felt good to get out of the rain. <laughs> oh, you're Navajo. I bet your children have beautiful tribal names. I'm like, yeah, a uh, little big mouth and grounded till summer. <laughs> this generation, man, they are too soft. They got it too easy. When I was growing up, man, they used to smack us with our own toys. We can't do that to our kids. Number one, CPS. Number two, I'm not wasting a perfectly good $300 Xbox. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Growing up, we had no Xbox. We had cardboard box. If you're lucky, you had sandbox. There was no Wii. There was just us. And there was no ADD either because we had to play in the street. That'll make you pay attention. I was like the worst live Frogger game ever. <laughs> the new generation, no common sense. My seven-year-old nephew attempted to drink windshield wiper fluid. Seven, you should know better. My sister caught him, bottle of the mouth. Well, he's okay, but now he vomits intermittently. And every time you ask him a question, he's like... Jeez, kids and kids are cost you a fortune. I'm allergic to my kids. Every time I'm around them, I break out in debt. <laughs> Last week, my youngest wanted to go to the zoo. I was broke. I took her to the pound to look at strays. <laughs> it's crazy, man. My oldest daughter is in college now. College. $43,000 a year. She is a performing arts major. $43,000 a year. I'm now old enough to be your dad, broke enough to be your roommate. $43,000 a year to be a professional dancer. My knucklehead cousin's like, geez, dude, why don't you just buy her a pole? <laughs> oh, how could you laugh at that? I would never let my daughter be a stripper. That would be embarrassing her making twice as much money as me. I went to one of these financial counselors last week. He referred me to the suicide hotline. <laughs> Visa called my house. Visa called my house. Hey, Mr. Yaffe, we haven't received your last payment. Mike, sir, trust me, you've received my last payment. 